Welcome back. In the last video, we looked at the operation of a very basic carburetor. If you haven't seen that video, click the link in the description or the card up top. In this video, we're going to look at the two types of carburetor. The piston type or round slide type or the butterfly slide or also known as a CV or a constant velocity type carburetor. In a piston or round slide type carburetor, the slide is operated directly by the throttle cable. This controls how much air can travel through the carburetor. In a butterfly slide or CV style carburetor, the throttle cable is attached to the butterfly which controls the air into the carburetor which indirectly controls the slides moving up and down via the velocity and vacuum created by the air moving through the carburetor. Before we can get too far into how these things work, we need to look at the entire fuel system of a typical motorcycle. You have the fuel tank, the fuel shutoff valve, the needle valve assembly, the float, and the float chamber. Most problems can start right there in the fuel tank. Dirt, debris, or rotten fuel varnish can stick and gum up any one of these passages, and this can cause fuel delivery problems. One of the most common is a sticking needle valve assembly. A little piece of dirt or varnish can get stuck and allow the needle valve to not seat properly and thus shut off the fuel which cause overflowing of the float bowl. Getting to the operation of a carburetor, let's start with the BS or CV type carburetor. Because it has the most parts and can be the most complicated of the two. However, the round slide carburetor doesn't need some of the upper and lower chambers to operate the slide because it is operated directly by the throttle cable. This type of carburetor has an upper chamber, a lower chamber, separated by a diaphragm, the venturi area, the butterfly valve, the main jet, pilot jet, float bowl, pilot screw, and pilot jet. As you watch the animation go through each stage as it pulls the fuel up first through the pilot jet or the idle circuit, the vacuum starts to open the carburetor slide letting more air in and letting fuel rise through the main jet all the way to full throttle. For the sake of completeness, here's an animation of a very simple round slide carburetor. It works very much the same. Now that we have some of the basics out of the way, let's go over some of the major failure or fault points with this style of carburetor that can cause performance problems. Unique to the BS or CV type carburetor is the diaphragm and where it seals between the upper chamber and the lower chamber. A tight, airtight seal must be maintained for proper operation. Also, the integrity of the rubber diaphragm must be intact. It cannot be deteriorated, have holes, tears, cuts, or be generally hard or inflexible from age. The parts that are unique to a BS or CV style carburetor are the diaphragm cover, the spring, and the diaphragm slide and jet needle assembly. Some symptoms of a faulty diaphragm can be sluggish performance, erratic throttle response, and poor wide open throttle or high speed performance. Now if you're wondering what the difference is between the CV or BS style and a traditional round slide carburetor where the throttle cable operates the slide, all of this before is a little bit irrelevant because it doesn't have these parts. However, everything else prior to this applies to both styles of carburetor. I just wanted to go over 
the differences in this type of carburetor because it can be unique to certain types of street bikes, scooters, and other on-road motorcycles seem to have this type of carburetor versus the other style. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the throttle openings, what settings and jets are in operation at each of those throttle openings, and we're going to talk a little bit about jetting and how it affects the mixture at those throttle openings. So stay tuned, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and thanks for watching.